Okay, it's 7.25 p.m. And the police helicopter is up over the curfew area. So I guess if they see any gatherings of more than 10 people, they're gonna, wait a minute, there's a second chopper now. That one I think is news. But anyway, if they see any gatherings of more than 10 people, I suppose they're gonna get the police dispatched over there to fire some more pepper balls start another riot or stampede okay it's eight o'clock smoke shop's still open Chinese restaurant closed the bodega's still open Fernandez fruit Bunch of places still open here. Chopper's still up there. Probably scouting for open businesses, looking for people walking in and out so they can send code enforcement and give them a fine. I wish I could go live with this. Scooter and bicycle rental place is still open. Down to the 1300 block. It's 810. Actually 812. T-shirt shop still open. The last videos were in the 14 block. And I'll shoot the 13 and I'll walk in down to the 12, which is where I hang out by Pizza Fury. This is uh, Alma Mexican Restaurant, also in the 13 block, but on the other side of Washington. They're still open. Juice and Java next door is still open. They're all supposed to have closed. You see the, the phone repair store closed, but they normally close at 8 o'clock, even if there's no curfew. There you could get a better view of Alma Restaurant. See, there's still people inside eating, and Juice and Java over there, there's still people inside. Harold's Shrimp and Chicken. They still got pizza people inside. I think they're still serving. Still got their open sign lit up. Okay, now we're down to the 12 block. Every place looks closed. Harrods Bar is closed. Burger Fi is closed. Looks like Peppers may still have people inside. I'll check that in a minute. We got uh, Paria Liberty is closed. Holy Guacamole is closed. They got the tables in. Pizza Fiore is closed. They got the tables in. I don't know if they're still going to be serving through the door like they usually do after curfew. Uh, Peppers is closed. Over there, there's nobody inside except employees, even though it's still lit up. Tattoo shop is closed. They're cleaning up in there. Smoke shop's closed. Every place in this block is closed. See Pizza Fiore, they still got customers inside actually. It's 8.15, they still got people inside. They're still serving, even though they've locked the door. And there's still a lot of people walking around in the streets considering that the curfew is supposed to apply to people as well and that you're not allowed to be in the streets. This guy is exempt because he's making a delivery from a restaurant. We got a lot of people walking around. I 
on the other side of the street as well. It's incredible. Okay, now there is a Burger King at 11th and Washington, right across the street from the police station. And somebody just walking by just told me that they're still open, they're serving, they got a bunch of cops inside, and they're not letting civilians in, except people who are working nearby restaurants who are trying to get food, or nearby businesses who are trying to get food after they got off work. And uh, they got about 15 cops in there, and they're serving all the cops, and they're serving the people who work at the nearby businesses with the cops' approval, but they're not letting any tourists in. They're not letting any residents in who don't work nearby. Unbelievable. Look at this. White t-shirt, blue shorts, and a backpack, and the other one all in black. Post it up right in front of me. G4S. It's unbelievable. It's now 8:35. Still got a lot of people walking around the streets. Anyway, I haven't seen a cop since before 8 o'clock. Nobody riding around, staying near the curfew, telling people get off the streets. I haven't seen a single cop. Maybe they're riding around in unmarked cars without using their flashers. But I haven't seen a single marked cow car. I haven't seen code enforcement. They seem to be just letting the businesses stay open late if they want to. And the chopper disappeared at 8.30. I haven't seen it in the air. It was up there before 8 o'clock, before curfew time, but I haven't seen it now in the last 35, 40 minutes. Just incredible. Oh, whoops, you for that. Every one of them wearing all black or white t-shirt and black and uh, blue uh, pants. Now two of them turned around, this couple. Two of them turned around to tail that group. This guy does this every day. And he's always in uniform. He pretends to be drunk all the time. He broke my guitar about two years ago when I was sitting on the street playing it and, uh, way before COVID. And he pretended to be drunk and, and stumbled into it. He's always got the music blasting. I don't believe he's don't ever believe really he's been ever drunk. drunk. He just acts that way. He just acts so that way. It's all a shit show. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Blasting his music. Strange thing, though. I haven't had a car pull up over here blasting music. It's the first time in, what, six, seven nights? As soon as the curfew kicked in, every time, you'd have a car pull up over there blasting music. Instead, I got them walking by with the boom boxes, one after the other after the other. All right, well, this is Miami Beach Audits. You see what's going on with the curfew here. I'm out. I'll catch you on the next one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification.